to the Rainbow Keychain instructional video. Hello everyone. In your activity kit, you should have received one keychain carabiner of varying colors. You should have received one especially lovely paw print bead again of varying colors and this particular bead serves a special purpose so make sure that one is set aside and you should have received a bunch of other multicolored beads they're just in your pack which is a whole crazy amount you get what you get and you don't get upset right and the strings for your keychain those are all one color of the rainbow so you should have received six of those red orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. purple. Now, are you, are you skipping ahead? Yes. Give, gotta give everybody a second, lady. Give them a second. Yeah, so good. the first thing you're gonna wanna do to start your rainbow keychain is line up your strings. Now they are going to be a little different in length. That's fine, don't obsess over that. They're not gonna be perfect. If you are the kind that wants them to be exactly the same, use your scissors and chop it so. Just chop them to be the same. You're going to put all six of them through the ring on the keychain. And I'll get a little closer so you can see the detail on that. Ring on the keychain. You could do it to the carabiner, but they do tend to slide out of the carabiner when you use it. So that's why we use the ring of the keychain. Oh my goodness, you guys are going to hear some farm equipment going by. The next thing you're going to do is you're just going to tie this into a knot at about the center point. Knot at about the center. If this is a problem for you, you can always ask someone for help. When I do in-person camp, Miss Abby and I usually have to tie everyone. May you help me, please? Yes, I can help you. How are you doing? Uh, not a little as well. messy. I'm okay. Trying, uh, okay, so just don't stress your parents too much about all of your crafts. Don't make try to do this on your own. But if you do need help, ask. Please. Alrighty. Oh no, I can't get these things aligned. So I'm just going to um, straighten Tessa's up a little bit. I like to start with them all at the same you drop the yellow. top. And then it's the bottom that's going to be uneven. So you'll see me kind of just do all of them together like that. Um, I'm a little fussy, so sometimes I'll even put them in order of the rainbow color. And then I have it like that. I'm going to move this back a little bit so you guys can see best. Here's the circle. And then I just thread it through. And that's about the midpoint. So that's where I'm going to take these like this. One over the other. And then the back one comes through the circle. Back one through the circle. And then that's it. You just tighten that up. And then you're good to go. I already got it in the center for you. So there's all of them like that. I hand that back to Tessa. Let me do, and this is exactly how it happens in in-person camp. When I say that we literally tied every single one of them, that is a true statement. So we're going to do the same thing with hers. Actually, there's another way that you can do it. Um, this one can be a little more difficult, but I'm going to show it to you because it's my favorite knot. We use this for a lot of the animal exhibits. This is the one where you take the whole of it and bring it through like this, all of them, all of them at once. And this is just, I use this one because it's a tighter knot. Oh my, look at that. So that's just two examples of knots. Now, after you have knotted it and it is on your key ring, you're going to take your special varying colors paw print bead and you are going to put each 
end and there's 12 now. You started with six, but now we knotted it and it's doubled. So there's going to be 12 strings that you're going to put through the bead. This will require a little patience, especially when you start getting towards like numbers 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, because it'll get tighter in the bead. But you can do it. Back up a little bit so you can see both ladies working. And it's just as long as you have that look of concentration, that's, that's success right there. You get that concentrated look and you just thread them through. Yeah, you can squint an eye just like Isla did. Squinting at you. Squint an eye. Am I doing this right? You just have to go through your bead. That's it. They have to go one way through the bead. We'll do a little close up. And that's where you get into where it's a little tighter. Yep, a little tighter. Let's check out how we're doing over here. Oh, there tough. you go. I might need help with the last few more of oh these. Oh my. Okay. I'm just finding where there's empty spots and then poking it through. Isla, do you need help now or are you okay for now? I'm going to need a little bit of help here. Push it over. So you don't, it's up to you whether you push your bead up. I usually wait. And then what works the best is sometimes I'll just fold these guys away from me. And then this should slide in because that creates a space. So if you're just trying to go by forcing them in and it's like this, do that little fold like this and that'll help you push your string through and i say string but this is really that rubbery stretchy cord stuff i figured you guys knew what i was talking about but the fold is key so when you fold it like this try the fold see how i have it folded against my hand Beautiful. oh you mean when you have to straighten it with the bead? Mm, I think I went too far because now it's starting to create the knot already. That's okay. That's all workoutable. Is that a word? Workoutable? I feel like it's not. I feel like I made that up. It's all able to be worked out. Thank you for the help. You are welcome. I don't know though. Your red one doesn't want to go in make some space. Here, I can try that one. Got it, get it at the flat, where it's flat. I can't even see what I'm doing. Mm. Got it. Now, if you're having trouble, like Tessa has a little trouble with some of hers nodding, you just have to individually pull on them. So see how this blue one has a little loop right there? I'm just going to find that blue guy and pull him by himself and then there's see this purple guy got twisted so i'm just going to find that purple guy and you have a one in two chance of which one is correct and pull him until he's straight and you can keep doing that can you do until you get your once? pin your pin no bead so now that your bead is up by the knot you're good to go and we're going to knot again there's gonna be another knot to hold that bead on. Tessa, do you want me to help you with yours? Or do you want me to just move ahead with Isla's? I got it. Okay, good work. So now you just have to straighten everything out. Like we just did with um, the first one. And that's just by, and sometimes if you pull all of them at once, it works and it's like magic. So you could hold on to all the string and just move the bead. Good work. All right, I'm gonna show the knot on Isla's first. So for this one, if you wanted to do the knot by separating them and tying it again, you can. 
but it works best if you do the big knot like I showed you. Big so, knot. So that, that's where you take everybody, all of the strings, you take everybody and you make the circle and then everybody goes through. Now her strings are a little short so this is going to be a challenge. A challenge of finger dexterity. Oh, Red's trying to get away. Oh, it's looped over the other the bead. Alrighty. And then once you have everybody through, you can then knot it. And then your knot can slide up. So that's the great part of this stretchy cord is the knot slides on up. Oh, that was a little vicious. My apologies. And voila. There so you the go. knotting is gonna be the biggest challenge for you guys. So would you like me to knot yours? Yes, please. And is this it? So this one, see how her string is longer? That's way easier to knot because you can twist it better. So you make the circle like this. I keep my two fingers in between. I slide the strings in between my two fingers and then it's through. We'll make sure yellow gets there. And then I pull. As I pull and before it gets too tight, I push it up to the bead the special, beautiful, of varying colors paw print bead. And this just helps keep this special bead in place. Now, the last part of this is putting the beads on the end. So for those of you that have really hated the knotting part thus far, get ready because beading is more knotting. I apologize for that. These are very short. And if you do have ones that are a little shorter, you can skip them and they can just be decorative or you can put one bead on there. So you can, whatever beads you have in your pack, you can pick out. Isla, just put one bead on for now so we can show them how to knot it. And are we gonna put it on a few? More knotting, friends, more knotting. Oh, this isn't Yay. big enough. This is only gonna fit one. That's one of your little strings. No, it's just not wide enough. All right, let me get, so she put a bead on her blue string. There it is, oh, it's blending right in with your shirt. I don't even know if they can see that. And then it's it slides up, but you can take this end part and that's just a simple knot. So you're gonna knot that and then the bead stays on. Um, Voila. Okay, Voila. Simple knot. And you can do this in anything that you want. And you can make any kind of color combination you would like. And this is the part that just take your time. Maybe save this project for a rainy day. Yeah. When you don't get to have outside time and you're just having peaceful inside nodding beads on little colorful strings time. And if you get frustrated, set it down, walk away. Go get a drink, a refreshment, take a nap, come on back to it. All right, we're gonna leave off there because the beading process, depending on how you like to do it, could take five minutes or 60 minutes. So thank you everyone and good luck with your knots.